I'm gonna do a quick shout out. We just say all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakak with Dash, the Water Seal Apostles, Great Millstone. And uh, we got 100% truth. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Spiritual yeah. power, bro. That's that spiritual power we got. We got this truth y'all can't understand. Hey, that is spiritual. You know, the spiritual power that we shit. got y'all blocked out of this truth. Y'all two-third motherfucker. If you're a reprobate, you a piece of shit, man. We ain't gonna give you this precious gift with the what the scriptures refer to as pearls. We ain't gonna give it to y'all, man. If y'all no good ass piece of shit. You know? So we use our spiritual power to keep y'all blocked out of this. <laughs> I love to him, man. Yeah. Feels good, man. And you know what? The other thing, let me say this. This is a reward for the wicked. Not being able to receive, not being able to receive the truth. Because the scriptures refer to this, especially like faith, they refer to it as a gift, man. It's uh, Matthew 7 and 6. It says, Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither can't see your pearls before swine. Oh yeah, all that means because uh, sometimes you just can't teach everybody. You gotta know who you can't talk to. Right, right. You see how the truth is coming out and how motherfuckers turn it back. Yeah. They hear it, but they don't even want to get it, man. They don't want it any goddamn way. That's good. They you know? They so why would we want to give you that? They swine. A swine's an unclean animal. That's right. So the Lord called y'all swine? Swine. Damn. Damn. Man, that's worse than they get mad when you Damn. say motherfucker and Right, shit. right. When you a you a you're, swine? They, you're called an unclean animal. An unclean animal that secrete pus. Yeah. You know? An unclean animal that secrete pus and and it's full of maggots and uh, parasites and worms. So that's how the Lord looking at the wicked. That's their favorite meal, though, for real. <laughs> right, right. That pepperoni yeah, I'm pizza. I'm going home to eat some damn. Hey, you always you eat. Yeah, you always eat. Yeah, yeah. Sunday, so, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. beautiful. Yeah. He say, trip with them under their feet and turn again and rinse you. That, that's all they're going to do. It's like, if you know somebody's not going to get it, you sit there wasting your time, and the next thing you know, they're going to want to fight you and all kind of shit. Bunch of you take fill, bro. You take fill. You take fill. We'll take fill. Is that yours? Oh, yeah. Where did that come from? I don't know how to drop that. You got to have that. You don't leave the house without electrical tape. That shit amazing. For real. Three take things. electrical tape and what's the other one? The silver one? Duct tape? The, oh, man. That's too big to keep in my bag, though, so I keep some electrical tape. I mean, like, tape. you can use it to fix anything. Right? Yeah. <laughs> For real, but you gotta get that good tape. You gotta get that gorilla, that uh, that gorilla. What's that? The gorilla glue, the, gorilla, the, glue, the, glue, the gorilla tape. Yeah. 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 Hey, that's the glue is they got that. Like, hey, you could use that. They're, these people, they got that cheap tape. That shit don't stick. We get that gorilla tape. <laughs> yes, yeah, their wisdom don't stick. You know, you get that cheap ass duct tape. Yeah. Man, you think you saving yeah. some money? You taking the easy route? Yeah. Bro, that shit is trash. Where you get it from? They, they, they sell it the cheap shit at the dollar store, don't they? Yeah, that shit. Dollar store that shit is trash. Walmart got the cheap shit. Too. Is it Walmart too? I know I don't buy no tools from Walmart. That's what oh they hell no, hell no. Yeah. You gotta go to Lowe's or something. They they're not hot. They're not pressure treating their tools or something. They got it. They're Chinese. Yeah, they're yeah. not pressure treating it with heat or something. Bro, man. one day we got a a, a wrench What's up, set. Big man? What up, man? You know you need some light, man. Oh. Is that? Oh, I thought you knew it. It looked like a defensive tackle. Yeah, but we got one in the cheap bag. We got Eric Dickerson. Hey, it was, he probably did play uh, something. Biggest play, 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 play the uh, play the flute. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else's flute. That's all he did. I'll go ahead. With you guys. It's uh, Proverbs twenty nine, uh, nine it says, "If a wise man contended with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest." Oh yeah, I mean, that's like. It makes you think of that other one in the apocrypha. Consult not with a fool, for he cannot keep counsel. What happened? Amos, what's that? The two walk together except they be agreed? Hey, hey, party man. I had to have me a drink. Ran to my dude at the bar. And he was up there waiting for guess who? The fuck what? A member of IUIC. This nigga come in. I, you know, I ain't go off on the nigga because I, I ain't know at first. I knew he wasn't a GMS off the bat just by looking at his face. Well, anyway, we talking about, my dude was complaining about child support and this and that, right? But dude couldn't answer shit. And you know, this is what's wild. It come out that IUIC dude is hanging around my dude's girl, picking her up and shit. Yeah, oh man, I went off on that one, man. I 
or no. But anyway, the motherfuckers talking to him, man, they don't have no wisdom, man. Nothing to share the comfort of brother for nothing, man. And you just no. know he an Israelite. Yeah, he on fire, he an Israelite. <laughs> Christ bless. <laughs> Did he that shit, it, was a it was a gift, man. It was a gift, man. It was a fucking gift, man. Running into these wicked ass niggas that literally don't have no wisdom, knowledge, or understanding, man. How you I see, wow. Dread it up and everything. You, you can do whatever you want, how you I see. I just don't get it. Oh, my. Yeah, we was just talking about Nathaniel um, uh, earlier. About that video he put out, he's like, Oh, Israel! Nathaniel! The Bishop of Nathaniel! He sound gay as hell. What's to say? Their countenance doesn't do this against them. It's something like that. It's Isaiah 3. Yeah, I'm trying to get home. Can we get it? I always like reading that scripture. You come to Nate, I can't help but the clown. I told you, you already know it's going to be made public, man, with both sides of the storm. Well, they already, I see you already seen uh, somebody else made a video on it. They the people in Texas or something left his church. Oh, wow, another one? I don't know. It was the, I just think it was the one you already seen. Yeah, there's a lot of shit out there. Get ready for the, get ready for the flood, though. Most high, he already making it public with that. That's just a taste. That's the most high. Uh, what you call it when you're in the military? You got a vessel approaching your vessel, you shoot a warning shot over their bow. Oh, yeah. Like that. That's the most high shooting a warning shot, man, at this nigga, man. <laughs> but what's he do? What'd he do? He threw dude under the bus. Like you, you on your own. He even said it, didn't he? That's dirty. <laughs> That's dirty as fuck. <laughs> That's how Esau be doing. Like when the celebrities or politicians get in trouble, yeah. they do so, they throw them under the bus. Under the bus. Sounds like Nate learned from the best, huh? Esau. shepherd who owned the sheep or not see if the wolf cometh and leaveth the sheep and fleeth and the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep the hireling fleeth because he is in hireling and careth not for the sheep beautiful when the people see what he's done they even heard it out of his own mouth man you and your own and they still like 20% tight the river from the man dumbasses But that's good though, because you know people on IUIC, they're not even really Israelites. The scriptures say that those of Israel is not Israel. Like you said, you say you was kicking with dude, he could they have no knowledge? None. That's None. how they all are. Didn't use one scripture. All them other Israelite groups are like that, man. All them, you know, all them different Israelite groups that don't like GMS and stuff. Right. You talk to any of them guys, none of them know nothing. They can't go deep. All they know is they're Israel and heathens are going into slavery. I mean, yeah, I mean, same they know, you know, some law, they know some few scriptures and stuff, basic scriptures. They can't go deep in nothing, though. They can't go deep into the prophecies. They can't, definitely can't go deep into the history. They don't really know the history. No. They don't really be studying like that. that? I got this right here. Somewhere. They just part of the Israelite club. The trend is hot right now. Yeah, it's a trend. Yeah, like you said, it's hot. To the most high destroy them motherfuckers are playing with his heritage. When they get scattered, man, I can't wait to cuss a few of them out. What's well, the Lord say? He's gonna smite the shepherd and scatter the sheep. Ooh. I mean, 
means he's gonna just keep on fucking up. Come on, man, I just had this. What are you looking for? Fat ass puppy shit. I have three of them because it, it, it got on the news like the three trippings. <laughs> and Comfy's people is big. Actually, when you see Comfy's people on the streets here in Columbus, more IUIC, I see Comfy's people everywhere. Yeah, they go out in the cold too. I give them that. Everywhere. Even though they don't know nothing, they out in the cold teaching madness. But they be out there sometimes. I see I see one dude walking around in Kroger wearing his whole outfit. The whole damn thing. <laughs> like, dude, dude look crazy as hell. They wear it every day, man. They probably wake up with that's the only well, fuck, that's the only clothes they can afford. After you get done paying, what, five hundred dollars for the garment? Right. Shit, you ain't got nothing left. So they probably pay for it with credit, have to pay interest with it too. Oh uh, yeah, interest. But niggas do motherfuckers like that, man. I think my garment was practically free. My mom had some old scrap uh, fabric laying around. We just started throwing stuff together. You know what I mean? Yeah, so brother was asking me a question. He said he didn't have much money to go out and teach. He said he needs money for a garment and all that. So I told him, bro, you can get a garment for cheap. Right, it's like $120. As long as you got a sewing machine or something, you know, get access to a sewing machine. All you need is some fabric for your... T you go to Walmart, get what, a sla uh, yard of fabric? Two yards? How many yards is this? About two yards? Well, you can get about two yards for about ten bucks or something, you know? Maybe a little more, a little less. Then you gotta, gotta find you some... You can make your own... I made my own fringes. You can cut them up. It ain't gotta be fancy. You can throw you a border of blue on there. Oh yeah, you can get that glue. Yeah, if you can't get a sewing machine, you can get yeah, what a hot glue gun, right? You get them for like a, a couple dollars. I think they might have them at a dollar store. Or just go to Joanne Fabrics or whatever, you know. There's no excuses. <laughs> hey, you gotta learn how to be crafty. You know what I'm saying? Like most brothers in the camps and stuff, they all make their own garments, you know what I mean? You gotta have an imagination, be crafty. You guys are... Yeah. Oh, that's all good, this is good, you know. And that's important though, because somebody did ask me that question about a garment. Yeah. Because that's all going for... Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of guys do that, about the garment. Yeah. That's their excuse. Hey, man, like, I knew I needed a garment, so I made it happen. You know what I mean? You go get you one. I think we made your garment cheap as hell, didn't we? I think you, how was, oh, that one? I remember my mom put the things on it, though. Yeah, I didn't even know how you, how you uh, get to me. Yeah, it's just cheap, man. It don't cost a lot. What you got? Go ahead, bring that scripture out, whatever. Uh, I found it, but it don't mention it, so bail. Oh, about Comfy's bail? But anyway, this is just an example of Comfy and Nate just being made, they're being put in the spotlight. The spotlight's shining on. So most high shining the spotlight on. So they can't hide, man. The scriptures say that cloak about that cloak. Let's see if I can find that scripture. You get no cloak for their sins? No cloak for their sins. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone for if this council or it's like I am, I skip with you down too far, too far. So I'm gonna screw up a little bit. It's Acts 5, and I'm gonna start at 34. Alright, he says, uh, then stood there up one in the council, a Pharisee named Gamalali. Gamalia. Yeah. That was uh, Paul's teacher. That's who Paul learned from. So he says the doctor of the law had a repetition among all the people, reputation among all the people, they command to put the apostles forth for a little space and said unto them, You men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as touching these men, for before these days roll up Dadadias and our pronounced 
boasted himself to be somebody to whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves who were slain in awe, as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught. After this, men rose up Je uh, Judas of Galilee in the days of the taxing and drew away much people after him. He also perished, and all even as many as obeyed them were dispersed. Pretty much going to the same thing is going to happen to uh, Nate. Same thing is going to happen to, uh, to these Christian churches. You might have many, many followers, but all that shit going to be coming to naught. That don't mean, that don't mean shit. It's kind of funny how they brag about their moves, too. Yeah. Like, that's supposed to be intimidating and shit. They're all about them numbers. Right, right, right. Yeah, like, them numbers are supposed to scare you, right? Yeah. All like, they're doing is just being carnally minded anyway. Like we were saying, uh, we were talking about earlier before we started about, uh, get that John 15. Well, I got this real quick. This oh, go ahead. That's why I got John 15. I got John 15 in the uh, I was going to start at 20. Remember the word. What did you want, though? Where it said, uh, bring forth fruit and your fruit remains. Cause you know what I'm saying? Cause this thing ain't about all numbers. We get as many people as we can possibly get. So we, so you look strong in the eyes of men. You know what I mean? Cause that's why they do it. Cause they, they got all, that's why they got the nice looking garments. You know, nice clothes. They got a lot of people. They want to look good in the sight of these assholes. But uh, exactly. the, the Lord ain't dealing with numbers. Right. This is not a numbers game. This is a, a, a faith thing. It says abide in me and I in you. As a branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branch. And this is referring to the Lord. He's saying he's the vine. Yeah, he's the vine. You know? Those of you that have no understanding. <laughs> no, that's a lot. Of, that's all of them. That's deep though. This is a deep it really parable is. to them, man. Yep. I am the vine and ye are the branch. And really, I'm sorry, but the, the vineyard is Israel. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's the start, the root of it. Right. He's the root. He's the vine. We're the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. So we can't do nothing without you, how Go ahead. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burnt. <laughs> if ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. So that's our job is to bear fruit. You bear fruit by doing his work, by teaching. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. Even I as have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you that, that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends if ye do whatever I command you. Just like Yahweh Shai laid down his life for us. The same with all the apostles too. All the apostles all put to death, crucified, executed. Straight up crucified, man. You if know, they can actually visualize what happened to the Lord, man. They, you know, he's spitting on. He's like uh, stripped, took his clothes off. Can you imagine that fucking? Uh, uh, can you imagine the, the cross, the um, the, the thorns? Can you imagine that? Man? Yeah. God, that that's horrible, horrible, man. Cross, man, that's that's like literally suffocating. That's hours. So you're just sitting up there. Well, the Lord, nail, nail, nail. they jacked the Lord up so bad, he really won up there that long. Remember, he said he gave up the ghost. They, that's why they didn't break his legs. So they, he's already dead. Sit up there 15 minutes. That's yeah. That's right, yeah. That's, that's torture. Man. They they torture. They that's torture. They tortured him before they put him up there. Actually, that was probably comfort to get up there. That probably you know? was. Yeah. That's probably comfort because like what they did to him before that. That's probably comfort, man. Like you watch that movie, The Passion. That's probably only a tip of what they did to him. And then give him some shit water or something like that. Yeah, that vinegar was the shit water. Because you know back in the ancient, because it says a sponge with vinegar in the scriptures. But if you if you know history, you know that uh, in the Roman bathrooms, they didn't have toilet paper. They had uh, uh, sponges with sticks on them and they dip it in vinegar and they wipe their ass with it. So that's what they put in his mouth. They had a, they had a uh, I think it was on history, well, long ass years ago on History Channel, they did, they did like a study on it. They had a dude on the cross and shit, was trapped up, 
You know what I'm saying? Well, niggas don't even last. He was on usually last in 15 minutes. And they, that's without the nails, without the beat. Right. Dude, he said I couldn't. I'm about to pass out my king. I can suff can I can't breathe. That's Every crazy. time you talk, you gotta like lean up like that. Damn. Oh, oh. That shit, that's torture. Torture. Straight up torture. Payback's a bitch. Henceforth, I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what this Lord doeth, but I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Oh, you have not. The Lord said we have not chosen him. That's why you got a lot of people to be like, oh, I, today I had chosen to know Jesus as my Savior, as my personal Savior. I had, you ain't make no choice. Ain't no choice to, you know what I'm saying? The Lord either chooses you or he don't. That's right. Oh, okay. It looks like he didn't chose majority of you. Nah, he ain't. You either get chosen for uh, life or death. Which is fantastic news, because it just affirms that the Lord's not a fool. Yeah, yeah, the Lord ain't no fool. Oh, yeah, the Christians that have it there, the Lord's just fucking retarded. The stupidest shit, right? It's the dumbest fucking thing in existence. Dumbass naive, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus is. <laughs> the, way, yeah, the way these Christians tell it, boy. Jesus. You would think the most high has got no power. <laughs> yeah, Satan got it all. Yeah, Satan got all the power. Yeah, they give Satan all the, Lord. They give credit. All, all the credit goes to Satan. That's how the churches do it. They say Satan created evil. That's madness. That's straight up crazy. No understanding. No understanding. Oh, they give credit to Satan. That tells you that's satanic doctrine when you're giving credit to Satan. Here we go. Who was I at? Uh, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and, and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. Oh, that, that's it right there. That's the scripture. No, we're supposed to bring forth fruit and our fruit's supposed to remain. That means, if you can understand that, that means the people to wake up to the truth and stay in the truth. I mean, it's one thing. You can wake somebody up. They know they're Israelite. They come out here and teach for a be out here for what six months some guys make it six months hey you seen a couple make it one day yeah one the guy one roscoe <laughs> came out here one day one day he's at he, man you fall out after one day that's crazy damn bro he was on fire for that one day what is it like? he came out here with an <laughs> nib bible that's my concubine oh you know she cold but yeah but that's important though you know, the fruit's supposed to remain like we used to have all kind of people in our camp but Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. They weren't even... I mean... I'll tell them. Fuck them. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> I, I want a little guy. I wonder if he even believes he's an Israelite. He's his own I wonder, yeah. I can't believe when I found that shit on Facebook, man. He's he just... Posted, he's making his own path or some shit. Should've, Did I send it to you? Yeah, I said Yeah, I said that. <laughs> yeah, he, he had... Yeah, he had my... Like, right, come on, bro. Why, why are you doing this to yourself? It's tatted up. He, he was all edged up. Yeah, y'all tatted up. He want to be cool. He want to yeah. look like uh, want to look like a rapper or something. I don't know. He want to look like Bow Wow. He, you know what I mean? <laughs> he want to be popular in this world. Back oh, I got a scripture for that. Back yeah, but oh, he from Columbus too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Bow Wow's gay as hell. Gay as a motherfucker. That whole rap world come against each other. Man. They all about to fall apart. Comedy world too, man. They, world they too. coming after your boy uh, R. Kelly now. Oh, that's him. fucked up though. Because yep. you know what? It's just showing these people is against the the, 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 yep. the, 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 the order. Because it wasn't nothing unlawful what R. Kelly did. It really wasn't though. You know, he's besides, besides pissing. Yeah, he pissed on a bitch, but yeah. that's his business. But though. right, it's nothing unlawful what the brother did, man. He was getting with uh, fully developed women. That's right. That's right. Nothing unlawful. Because I think what R. Kelly was doing, because he don't want no old bitch who got diseases yeah, and shit. Yeah, you, you know? Yeah. You look at these fucking entertainers, these rich elites, these bitches all worn, they look all worn out, man. What the fuck, man? I got an argument. Bitch, shit, I got the... They'll call you a pedophile if you get with a 17-year-old girl. Because these, these assholes out here, they believe that it's a uh, pet. I, that shit just makes you want to slap somebody. Cause you know the word pedophilia means, right? A pedophile is somebody who has sex and is attracted to pre 
pubescent children. That means they haven't hit puberty yet. That's pedophilia. That's a Jew's way. That's the, that's that's what's in the, um, the Talmud. Yeah. You know, that's what they do. In the Talmud is lawful. Having sex with a fully biologically developed human female. <laughs> These black women coming up against the brother openly like that, the most high is gonna make shame to him, man. Yeah, because I'm not defending R. Kelly's uh, right. wicked ass because you know he probably sold his soul anyway. Yeah. But it's just the fact is being using truth, man. They these black bitches coming up against the brother, man, they're gonna get these stories for that. You know, can you imagine all the wicked shit them bitches coming up against him what they've been doing? Oh that's what the, that's uh, that, those are hypocrites, man. Oh, you can't talk about that. Right. Right, right. Uh, now those right. are strong queens. Right. Oh, yeah, a lot of them. Like, they should be ashamed of themselves, man. I remember reading, uh, I had a, a Led Zeppelin history, a biography or something. They said Jimmy Page liked them young, too. They said he get them as young as possible. You know, man, like 13, that. 14. Right. You know? I like to find one man that don't. Exactly. One. They just don't want to admit it. Too afraid to admit it. But it's okay though if these people let their little daughter go have sex with these little gangsters in the neighborhood, get pregnant, and then he leaves the bitch. Now she a, a single mother growing up with nobody to take care of her and her children. But that's okay though. But it, but it's wrong when a, a, a grown man with money has sex and takes care of a woman. That don't make no goddamn sense. Fucking bitches. They tell the daughters what to go chest the water. Yeah, fuck these bitches. Chest the water. The first. Griffin 7 to 36. But if any man think that he behaved himself uncomely, uh, uncomely toward his virgin, if she passed the flower of her age and he so required, let him move when he will, he sendeth not. Right. That's a flower with a blossom. Yeah, boy, Dave. Who so took that to literally? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna get fucked up. Oh, shit. He's gonna get fucked up. Hey, that's just the beginning. Oh, yeah, we gotta tell y'all, man. Just. Just because we know the scriptures say, yeah, but a woman passed the pass flower of her age, that's not a sin to have sex with her. Right. But you got to know the laws out here. That's right. You, you go do some dumb ass, you're going to get locked up, man. They're going to call you a pedophile, demonize you and everything. You should have been wise. Yeah, you got to be wise, man. You should have been wise. You should have wise. You should have paid off the right people to keep them on the hush and stuff. Yep. Because it's still common as fucking a rich man's Oh, yeah. Shit, common as hell. Man. It's just ain't, you know them politicians is going. Everybody, <laughs> hell, Joe Biden probably fucking his own daughters and sons. You remember them pictures coming up? He's, I was like, wow. I mean, videos. It, it's legal in Ohio for women to get married at 16, 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. You yeah. just gotta go to the court. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's legal. Yeah. I and mean, it was common practice for thousands of years for women to get married when they hit that period and t them titties popped up. Shit. Yep. Everything developed. Yeah, everything's developed. I hope she's good to go. You ever try to hit me with statutory rape? That's a book. That's a faggot law, man. My present wife, who I've been married to these years, but they let popping all these years. They try to hit me with statutory rape. And at the same time, too, they'll say that's pedophilia, <laughs> but they say it's okay if a little uh, elementary school child, like a little boy, identifies as a woman and he's a uh, transsexual in elementary school. They say that's okay. You gotta respect, uh, oh, he's gender neutral in the sixth grade. You gotta respect that. Right, that the birth certificate should have fucked out. Right? Yeah, they, they got birth certificates now with no gender on it. No gender. When you get up age, you can decide your damn self. But why would y'all so freaky? Why you get mad at grown men having sex with grown women? A grown woman. And yes, when she's having her period at 12, 13, she's a grown fucking woman. <laughs> she, she might be still developing physically. This devil knows, but this devil knows what he's doing though. That's how they pollute our woman at a young age. They make it so oh, it's against the law for you to get married to this woman or whatever. They call you a pedophile. Now she's out here whoring herself out, fucking every Tom, Dick, and Harry. By the time bitch is 18, she got five kids, three baby daddies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and now she's polluted and defiled. Stanking. Yeah, stanking. She got nobody to take care of her. Now she grows up miserable, hating men. Now she's a lesbian. Yeah, a lesbian. <laughs> that's the route it goes. Too. Men are pigs. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's how it goes too. <laughs> that's because the, 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 the society's against the, the right order. Man. Against the hey, right my order. camera dead already. Sure, 26. Hey, a drunken woman in a ghetto brawl causes great anger. 
and she would not cover her own shame. That bitch all night. The whoredom of a woman may be known of in her haughty looks and eyelids, and thy daughters be shameless, keep her in straight, lest she abuse herself over, over much liberty. Watch over and impute, I am not as she 